topics regarding facts. Um, this article I just randomly clicked on, and I wasn't even really paying attention until just for me. So it's basically a new trend. It's basically due to the cost of living. Girls are started to get to the point on asking about, you know, instead of financial issue of a guy. Alright, it's basically, well, if we speak on our world, uh, if a man think about this, it's basically gold digging level, alright. So, I'm just going to go on the first page, right? And this is going back to the roots of the real reason why people get married or to... Uh, different sex come together and start a family, whatever, right? And you know, romanticism they claim that it has introduced on the 17th century in the Western world, right? You love the person, and then you know, whether you got sex before marriage or marriage before sex, up, I don't know, back in those trends, and I'm pretty sure sex before marriage is, is a big thing, but nowadays. No, sex before marriage, you know, many of the girls has lost their virginity since they're in high school or even primary school. Let's just put it that way. So they're more than having double digits until they hit to their bubble dating app, right? Or triple digits. I'm not going to get involved. But now they're just talking about, you know, there's so many guys, right? It's so invisible. Whether, whether you go to a dating site, right? And obviously girls will prefer a certain race or height or whatever eyes or you know because it's genetic pull right and most guys are or you know most guys are invisible in the dating world and don't get me wrong i will never get one swipe or whatever in, even if i join in a dating app and could you imagine how many guys will go through the same thing right and now they started to realize hang on i can't just have a, a good lover you know uh, someone who has pleased me over the time and start to realize hang on he's not financially well he's too busy you know whether drugs and alcohol or party life or bad boy life or you know um too busy fulfilling too many women's needs you know other women's out there they start to realize hang on i need to settle down with a financially stable six figure or very stability man who doesn't have debts or too many problems Hello, are you guys seriously taking this long to realize? And, you know, to or wanting to start a family or long-term relationship or whatever how it is. I'm not going to get into details, right? This is a very overdue, my ladies, right? To, for you to go on the Bumble or whether you go to Tinder, whatever, okay? You know, you're so used to getting one-night stands or a child would, you know, pick you up and, you know knock you out in the bed, you know, after finish a couple of rounds, you know, it is what it is, alright, so then now they're slowly to realise that a financial so the, the song was, what is it uh, trust funds blue eyes six figure, you know, whatever you know, and then the guy that they're gonna find right is not generally love this is, becomes a bit of like stability survival now Oh, cost of living. Oh, I never thought of that before. But those who are six figures of more than a hundred or two hundred or three hundred or whatever, how many Ks you were talking about, they're not those guys that you think is a good lover or, or banging six packs or blue eyes, whatever. They work bloody hard in and out every day. Even they come back home, they still got workload or stress load or whatever. So you're so used to being pounded by good looking guys, booty calls, or spending time, whatever. But if you want to talk about financial guy, good luck. He's making lots of money, but he has a shit life. So you're so used to being pounded by good looking six packs, big schlong, alright, guys, or good lover. And now you want to settle down with a good guy who has a six figure income. Mm. A real gold digger looking like that. Well, a guy would think of that way. Not love anymore, if you look at that. So, what is the breaking point of the whole thing? 
So, yeah, so, uh, I guess when, for myself, I can't speak much because I only, uh, what is my dating? I only got date one, only for one month, would you classify that? And another girl who's my baby mama now, um, it wasn't really, really dating on that one. She was just basically desperate to get knocked up or start a family because all her peers are starting families and she doesn't want to be left out. But if you have a dating life, whether you're younger to all the way older, you wanted to have something a bit different or excitement and whatever the experience that you have, you make sure you don't have the same trait of the men that you've dated in the past. And this is where it becomes where sex before marriage. Now, I understand back in the day, there's a lot of domestic violence, death, unhappy marriage, or whatever. But it was based on your your purity, on what you do with that person, right? Um, so, it is very interesting to know that now with the cost of living, a new trend started to realise, hang on, instead of me spreading my legs or going free dinner or dates, of certain guys, I need to be serious now. I need a financial guy. So, about time, ladies. <laughs> but I don't know how is this going to change your DNA because you're so used to being pumped by a good-looking guy. So, uh, good luck on that one.